Hey, what's going on, guys? Lord here. As the title suggests, if I were to quit this game, this is pretty much why. Obviously, I don't want to say that I am quitting because it's not, uh, you know, clickbait. Clickbait's not cool. My whole thing has been, is the game going in the right direction? If so, what can I do to either help others see how good this game is, right? And bring more people to the game. Or, or help TMO by understand what the faults of the game is. That way we can talk about it from that from that point, right? So far, they're really, as, as much as I like to say, there have been really nice changes. Because there have been. There have been really good quality of life changes over the past year or so. The, the issues that keep arising have been, have been to the forefront. And honestly, I, I just don't really feel like I can ignore it at this point. There are still issues such as me not being able to blast multiple times. I think that is a core issue. And I, what the, f am I tripping or do they just die automatically? All right, yeah, I was just tripping. There are still core issues in the game where if T-Mobile or NGAC wrong does update the game, we're met with so many glitches that it just feels like a step backward. So for every step forward we're going, we're just taking a major step back. And it's gotten to the point where the game doesn't even feel fun to play anymore. There are other major issues. I think, you know, cool, cool, really cool stuff in the past year, such as Mofuba. Flipping amazing. I, I, I really enjoyed stuff like that. And then we have extremely garbage updates, which is what I'm going to show you momentarily. So with the Satan Shop, you're able to access the new event, which is Godzilla vs. King Kong. The biggest issue that I'm having with this game is nothing in the past month or so even remotely correlates to Dragon Ball. Like, I'm, I'm all for fucking Radiation Radar, Legendary Map, whatever the fuck these things do. But the thing is, at the end of the day, I'm not playing Dragon Ball at this point. I'm playing fucking Mountain Spirit versus Sea Spirit Simulator. I'm playing fucking Godzilla vs. King Kong Simulator. I'm not playing Dragon Ball Online, whatever the fuck that even means at this point. It's such a slap in the face to people that genuinely like Dragon Ball, where you're essentially playing Avatar World with a little bit of Dragon Ball sprinkled in. Like, nothing here actually points me towards Dragon Ball. Maybe this. Maybe this is the only item in this shop that actually looks like that. This, I can see, you know, it looks like Dragon Ball. Right. This is the only thing that looks like Dragon Ball. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Every single disguise here requires you to put in at least... Let's see. We're being generous here. These are expiry. For anything permanent in the shop, you're topping up at least... For anything good in the shop, you're topping up at least five dollars for, and not even. Everything that we love about Dragon Ball is put into a paywall, and everything that doesn't even correlate to Dragon Ball is literally put on is put to the forefront for no reason at all. It doesn't feel like Dragon Ball anymore, and I think I think that's a core issue of what makes this game terrible we all know you and me you know like to, uh, talk to me right now you and me we know how much potential this game has because we are looking at this from a dragon ball perspective we see how much cool stuff they put into this game but the thing is the people that man i don't know the people that lead this game they do not know what the hell a dragon ball even is and that brings me to the biggest issue of all. See, that looks dope as shit. Did you see that shit? But that right there, that is under a paywall where... Oh, let me, let me, let me check, let me check with Hiroshi. 
there is an exchange event point. So you'd think something like you'd do something in the event and you'd get event points for it. No, 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 no. In order to get items that actually make sense in this game, you have to put in money. And each of these points, let's just say 450 So $5 gets you around 600 points roughly. So let's just round. Let's just round to 500 Pretty much each of these every time you do a spin it costs five dollars and people are fucking happy they oh my god it is it's actually insane seeing how happy people are putting money into this for for fun they are quite literally just dumping their money into this into this game for just a just a very minute dragon ball experience and it I mean, if if that's obviously if that's how you like the game to be, bro. Honestly, go for it, bro. I'm I'm not your mother. I'm not your father. But for me, though, no, me personally, man, I I just can't take it. I just can't take how this game, what direction this game is going in. If that wasn't the worst part, even if I wanted to have the Dragon Ball experience that the game offers i can't even do that i started off in an area called maima valley right and in that area that's where a ginyu for the ginyu force spawns the most but the biggest issue is botters will destroy that zone they will hunt the living shit out of the ginyu force after reporting it multiple times to t-mobile after reporting it as many times as possible they it, it it honestly feels like an outright refusal to do anything about mods or bots and while while i understand their need to try and target resources that the bots want to target it comes across off as terrible because no matter how you spin it off players are playing a game that has been adjusted by bots in one way or another and it it, it definitely destroys the quality of game i i look at this game i don't even know why people play this game honestly i play this game because i, I want to do youtube for it i don't have any reason to play this game other than pressing record and then just talking to a mic and I, I, I mean, I've definitely lost sight of that over the course of however long I've been doing this. And it's just, it's such a huge issue that I don't think, I don't, on a fundamental level, this game is bad because the developers, the admins just straight up do not play their game. They do not play their game out of any fundamental level, so they don't understand what's wrong with it players understand and they've been trying to communicate with Simon Bai for the longest time but it's to no avail what the admins will say is oh we did this 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 we've done this 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 from what the players have asked of us why isn't that enough and it's because they do X, Y, Z, but they also introduce problems A, B, C, and never fix it at all. It's like they introduce problems just to say that they fixed it in a later update. And that's what the core issue is, honestly. But yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, if I were to quit DBO, those, were the, those would be the reasons as to why. I just don't see the game going in any sort of direction that's nice um i i do want to say this if if you do if you do like me you know i am putting more content related to dragon ball and i'd love your support in that regard um so that's that's why i see myself transitioning in in the in the near future and there is something that i can't really speak on right now but that's there is there is something cool coming up in the works uh but that's it lord of like lord of subscribe lord of peace